The United States Army has a new and radical little plane, too. It cooks and refrigerates our food. How many dreams can you shape in a minute, an hour? Ask the people of Dodge. Richard Weaver, a former English professor at the University of Chicago, he wrote his most famous book in 1948 entitled Ideas Have Consequences. When Weaver began writing this book, America was flourishing with post-war success. Materialism was rapidly increasing with technological revolution. Cars, radios, gadgets, everything was easier, faster, and louder, and Weaver was not happy about these changes. He explained it as the dissolution of the West, the deterioration of culture. Weaver, a turned conservative, developed the theory called the Great Stereo Opticon to what he considers the commodification of truth, to where humans' beliefs and emotions are being negatively influenced by society's uprise. So by now, I'm sure you're wondering, what was Weaver's answer to this ongoing problem in American society? Well, he provided an answer that incorporated what Americans can do to help preserve our beliefs and principles. He suggested that we practice our right to private property, which he considered our last metaphysical right, along with the recovery of knowledge within society. Weaver believed that private property constitutes a great source for personal growth because of the inalienable bonds between a person's labor and property. Richard Weaver once said, people who give up their own land too readily need careful weighing, exactly as do those who are so with their convictions. Even Solomon said that the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. One gives up the part for the whole, only to discover that without parts, there is no whole. Weaver felt strongly about the preservation of his country, leading him to continue on to write more books on current issues in America up until his early death in 1963. So what about our current society? Now it's up to you to decide how good of a job are we doing in preserving America's founding principles. This has been your two-minute thinker on Richard Weaver's Ideas Have Consequences.